Now, it's time for Fearless Friday High School football coverage with the power of FearlessFriday.com. More highlights from more games, more hits, and more scores. Fearless Friday starts now. Sponsored by Baptist Health. It's a rivalry years in the making. McClellan taking on Blasky Academy. Who will win tonight and move on? We'll find out. I'm Stephanie Sharp. We'll have the highlights coming up. And I'm Justin Roten live in Clinton. Prescott comes to town. These two teams are 21 and 1 on the season combined. Believe me when I tell you, you do not want to miss these highlights. Hey, folks, week two. I'm here at Hazen hosting Gurton tonight. Highlights coming right up. Hey guys, I'm Ben Gordon down here in Bryant. The last three meetings between these two programs was decided by just one point. Will that be the case tonight? Find out in a few minutes. I'm Tyler Thomason in Warren, where the Lumberjacks are hosting Arkadelphia. It's a rematch from last year's 4A state title game, and this one had a lot of points. We'll show you coming up on Fearless Friday. Week two of the playoffs gives us only 36 games. We have highlights of 26 of them. We'll also show you the final scores of the other 10, so we'll know the matchups for next week. We start in 7A. Northside taking on Bentonville. Northside pours it in on in the second quarter. Misdirection. Eli Bolton runs it in 7-3 Northside. Bentonville. Easton Hughes throws a pick. Unbelievable catch. It's returned just short of the goal line and Northside takes advantage. Jackson King with a short rushing touchdown is 14-3 Northside. Harrison Campbell responds for Bentonville. The kickoff, the ensuing kickoff sheds a tackler, breaks back and he is gone for the touchdown. It's 14 to 10. Big momentum play there, but Northside comes right back. Derek Deuce Wise keeps it rushing for the touchdown. It's 21 to 10, and Northside pulls off the upset tonight, 30 to 17. Now to the top of the bracket, North Little Rock hosting Fort Smith Southside. Charging Wildcats beat the Mavericks by 22 points last month. Southside came out, guns are blazing. The wide receiver pass. Colton McBride completes the pass to Ricardo Savoy. Mavericks scored a few play plays later take a 7 to nothing lead. North Little Rock comes right back. Short touchdown run from Tyler Day. Mavericks keep the lead 7 to 6 after a blocked extra point. Next possession. North Little Rock takes the lead. Brandon Thomas takes it outside. He's gone. 12-7. Charging Wildcats after the two-point conversion failed. Southside retakes the lead on the next play. Tate Gatewood finds Tyree Solomon all alone. The busted coverage gives the Mavericks the lead 14-12. But North Little Rock strikes back. Kareem Cotton finds Drew Martin. He breaks a tackle, and the tight end races to the end zone. This was a nail-biter. North Little Rock had to hold on. They win 48-45. Winner will play either Conway or Bentonville West. And it's the home team that strikes first. The Wolverines quarterback pays the price. He throws a bomb down the middle. Bentonville West up by seven in the first quarter. Not long after, Conway responds with a flare to the left. Their back will make a move and take it to the house. And later on now, the Wolverines get close to the goal line and go back to the air once again to take the lead near the end of the first quarter. It's a touchdown with a big hit. Here's your score. 31-17 West wins. So here is the 7A semifinals. North Little Rock beats or North Little Rock wins, so they will host Bentonville West. Bryant is a big winner. Well, <laughs> they get a big win. It was a thriller. Bryant beats Fayetteville. Those highlights are coming up in a bit. So Bryant will host Northside. Bryant's the lower seed, so Bryant will host Northside next week. Three of the four teams left are from the 7A Central. Now to 2A. The Hazen Hornets roll through the regular season and the first round of the playoffs. They're 10-0. Tonight, they hosted the 9-2 Gurdon Go Devils. Former Razorback Mitch Petras was at Hornet Field and has the highlights. 
If it hadn't been for Cotton Eye Joe, hey, 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 here at Hazel Country West, Rollo's first half highlights. Lights, camera, action, fireworks going off, a Hazel Harness, oh, in the purple and white. Oh, Blade Toll, number 10, gets the ball first. The quarterback keeper running hard tonight, makes the guy miss. Oh, nice run, Blade Toll. Yes. Sets up a nice first down for the Hazel Hornets later in the drive. Heads it off here. Number 21, Terrell Penn. Oh, bulldozes the guy for the touchdown. Hazel Hornets score. And here they go for two. They score again. 8-0 Hazel Hornets. Second quarter now. No Gurdon. More Hazen. They hand it off Terrell Penn again. Grinds it. Binds it. Uh, touchdown again. Oh, on top. 14-0. And they will go for two. Oh, oh, what it do? They score two more. Makes it 16 to 0. Hazen Hornets. Another touchdown. It's the playing toll. Terrell Penn connection. Oh, he scores again. 22 to 0. Hazen Hornets. Go for two. What's it do? Ha, ha, ha. Grind it. Find it. Helmet comes up and a two bucket verse is good. I like it. I love it. Halftime score 24 to 0. Hazen Hornets. Hey, 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 hey. West in the second half, more of the same. I'm all surrounded by Hazel Horn football players. They are in it to win it all season long. Your final score tonight, 46 to 0. West, back to you in the studio. All right, let's see who Hazen's going to play. Well, it's Hampton. They had no problems with Mineral Springs, 54 14. So, Hazen, Hampton next week. Top of the bracket brings us another good game. Mount Ida and Hector. Wildcats quarterback Cody Day hands off to Blake Cohn, who runs in for a touchdown. Mount Ida, time for them to shine. Tyler Hamilton powers his way into the end zone to stay on top. Mount Ida again. Quarterback Kay Jackson sweeps outside, looking for a receiver, and finds one way downfield, takes it into the end zone. The Lions take down the Wildcats tonight. They move on to the next round. So Mount Ida will play either Fordyce or Conway Christian. Second half action. Conway Christian quarterback Jacob Wood looks deep downfield, but it's picked off by Caleb Jones. Red Bugs up now. Jaheim Brown looks. Big pass to Darius Sledge. But it's knocked down by the Eagles. Matthew Dent, good defense we're seeing so far. Eagles again. Wood rolling out, takes a snap. Outside pass to Jesse Dather, but it's ruled an interception. Sam Allen of Fordyce gets it. Final score, Conway Christian wins by 331-28. What a game. Now to the other side of the bracket. We start with Magazine at Foreman. The defending 2A champs, Kyron Beatty. He was the MVP of the state championship game, and he's gone. Touchdown, Foreman. More from the Gators. Robbie Smith making moves. Gets to the sideline. Makes another cut in the open field, and he is gone. The speed. Here comes Kyron Beatty to help him into the end zone. Foreman rolling. Later on, looking for a deep pass down the middle. No, it's incomplete. Foreman beats. Foreman beats Magazine tonight. 38-26 is your final score. So Foreman will play either Salem or Earl. It's Earl. They win 36-22 over Salem. So the Earl Bulldogs take on Foreman next week. That game will be in Foreman. Bottom of the bracket brings us Desark and Mountain Pine. Game played at Fountain Lake due to poor field conditions at Mountain Pine. Desark's Cooper Roberts gets the ball down to the one yard line. And on the next play, Jackson Morton takes the ball into the end zone. Desark leads. Mountain Pine comes right back when Kaysen Porter gets around the end for a 40 yard touchdown run. He ties the game at seven. Early in the second quarter, Garrett Goodman sneaks it in to put Desark up 14-7. Desark wins. So who do they play, Junction City or Mountain Bird? Well, it's Junction City. They win big, 50-14. to Next up on Fearless Friday, we'll name the Central Arkansas MVP. Plus, we'll check on 6A and 5A. We have the state covered. Games in Greenwood, West Memphis, Texarkana, Blyville, and Little Rock.
have the heart of a Trojan? The Light College Pathway can change your life and community. Connor chose UA Little Rock with a full ride Donaghy scholarship as a business major. Along the way, the Central High grad was elected SGA president, studied in China, and earned the top graduating senior award. Now, on a full master's scholarship at the Clinton School of Public Service, Connor is paving his way to help others. Start your journey at UA Little Rock. Unlimited Pathways. Southern Arkansas University feels like home. SAU feels like home because I've made lifelong friendships with people who care about me. SAU feels like home because I'm part of so many traditions that create meaning for my college experience. SAU feels like home because it's the perfect size to find people you share common interests with. Come visit SAU and see why so many students are saying that Southern Arkansas University feels like home. Now, you know Rallies and Checkers is the home of the two for menu. They got something to fit whatever you got in your wallet. Choose two items for five bucks, two items for four bucks, two for three bucks. Plus, now you can get two items for two bucks. Get the Rally Burger with cheese fully loaded or a spicy chicken sandwich with the right amount of seasoning and spices. Spicy chicken done right. Pick two or mix and match. This deal can't be beat. Rallies and Checkers. Fast foodies know the deal. Healthy living sale at Family Leisure. It's time to invest in your health. Going on now at Family Leisure. Your fearless Friday Central Arkansas MVP of the week. Powered by Mercedes-Benz of Little Rock. Last week, the Little Rock Christian Warriors got a warrior-like effort from Justice Hill. The future Razorback flying through the air at 458 yards of offense and accounted for seven touchdowns. The quarterback passed for 281 yards and a score. He rushed for 177 yards and six more touchdowns. Justice Hill is our Central Arkansas MVP. Now to 6A, Greenwood hosted Searcy. The Bulldogs start strong with quarterback Peyton Holt completing a pass to Luke Leonard, who runs it all the way to the 10-yard line, but a touchdown isn't in the cards. Holt deciding to run the ball in him himself some nice yardage but ultimately he's knocked out of bounds by Cersei's lion by the Cersei lion Sawyer Jackson another attempt by the Bulldogs Holt completing the pass to Lazaro Angel Angel and taking it to the 20 yard line but a touchdown eludes him again Cersei quarterback Peyton Wright completes a pass to Tanner Linder what a catch at the start of the second quarter Holt runs the ball again makes the touchdown the first of many more for Greenwood. They go on to win 35 to zip. The winner, Greenwood, plays Sylvan Hills or Marion. Start with Sylvan Hills. Nice job running the ball. Out of bounds. Sylvan Hills staying on the ground, pounding away. Second quarter action. Jameer shoots. They'd settle for a field goal. Tito Mendoza gets it through. 14-3 Marion. Later, Deidre Kale passes to Markel Wynn. He breaks the tackle and picks up a big game. Marion led at the half, but Sylvan Hills comes all the way back. They win this one 17-14. Another upset tonight. Sylvan Hills at Greenwood next week. Now to the bottom half of the bracket. West Memphis hosted Pine Bluff. Blue Devils won this game 24-23 just three weeks ago. Pine Bluffs running back Alicia Taylor gives them a 6 to nothing lead. West Memphis wide receiver Devin Alloway takes a swing pass. You know what Alloway does. Alloway takes it all the way. 21-6 Blue Devils. West Memphis defensive tackle and Sonny Adams with the sack dozing down. West Memphis defense gets it done 34-6. So West Memphis plays either Jonesboro or Benton. Benton came out smoking tonight. Panthers drive down and get a field goal. They're up three to nothing. Later on, Jonesboro looking for some points, but Ben's defense comes up big. What a snag. Second really good interception we've seen tonight. Later on, Jones, Jonesboro's quarterback gets through, plows his way in. Benton responds, though. 
Little quick slant to the wide receiver, and he is gone. Benton runs it in for the touchdown, 10-7. They win 38-37. Wow, what a squeaker. The 6A semifinals are set. It is Greenwood hosting Sylvan Hills next week. And then you have West Memphis Benton. One upset. The other top seeds are advancing. West Memphis at home against Benton. Greenwood ho at home against Sylvan Hills. Last year's 5A state championship found McClellan leading Pulaski Academy 36-30 late in the fourth quarter. Lane Hatcher's touchdown paved the way for a 37-36 victory for the Bruins. Tonight, the two schools meet in the quarterfinals. Stephanie Sharp was at Rector Field and shows us what happened. These two rival teams meeting several times over the last couple of years, even in the state championship games. PA always seems to come out on top, but what's going to happen tonight in the corner finals? Who's going to continue on? Take a look at some of these highlights. McClellan Crimson Lions and Pulaski Academy Bruins, a rematch of last year's championship game. Up first, PA, a direct snap to Jaden Kelly. He keeps it up the middle, breaks a few tackles, and sprints into the end zone. In typical PA fashion, they go for the extra two points. QB Brandon Bratcher throws straight to Hogs commit Hudson Henry. It's 8-0 Bruins. McClellan inching closer to the end zone, basically at the goal line. Josiah Johnson pushes his way through for six points. They go for the extra two points. Hands off to Derek Lloyd, and it's good. The game is tied at eight. PA quarterback Bratcher throws deep to John David White at the 40-yard line. White freely sprints his way into the end zone with ease. The score now 14-8 Bruins. Bruins on a roll. Bratcher throws deep for 35 yards. White, he catches it with defenders on his tail and darts in for a touchdown. After a second two-point conversion, the score now 22-8 PA. They've played us better than anybody in the country, literally, over the past three years. And and uh, we lost a lot of talent, and our seniors have had to listen all year about how much we lost. And when we got to this game, it was a little nerve-wracking, but they came out and played extremely well. MPA continued to plow over McClellan. Final score here tonight, 58-8, to sending McClellan home. PA moving on to next week. Wes. All right, let's see who they will play. It is Harrison. They knock off win 49-14. So Pulaski Academy will host Harrison at Rector Field. Now to the other side of the bracket. Little Rock Christian played at Texarkana. We start with the Razorbacks. Cameron Collier gets in. It's 7-0 Texarkana. Little Rock Christian and Justice Hill responds. Quarterback keeps it, takes it over the left side, and he gets in. Tie score. Little Rock Christian punting, and it's blocked. The Razorbacks block the punt. They take over, and they respond when Sean Forback hits the Jordan Mass. Check out this catch. Over the defender, Mask touchdown. It's 17-14 at the half. Take a look at it again. What a catch. But Little Rock Christian pours it on after that. They double off the Razorbacks 48-24. So Little Rock Christian will play Morrillton or Blyville. Let's head to Northeast Arkansas. Late in the second quarter, Blyville down 7 to nothing. Morrillton's Jacoby Criswell hits Mason Adams for the big game. Later, Criswell hits Adams again. Another first down. Working that sideline, Chicks D would force a field goal, but the Devil Dogs go up 10 to nothing. Next Blyville possession, four seconds left. Jaheim Carter finds Corey Weatherspoon. He takes it all the way to the sideline. Four yards from pay dirt. Blyville's defense tried to hold tough, this time swallowing up Morrillton's Xavier Clemens. But Morrillton, too tough tonight. Devil Dogs go to Blyville, and they knock them off with a 25-point win. So the 5A semifinals look like this. You got Little Rock Christian at Morrillton. Both are two seeds, but that game will be at Morrillton, and Pulaski Academy will host Harrison. Next up on Fearless Friday, we named the Northwest Arkansas MVP. And we'll check on the Bryant-Fayetteville game. Those highlights just in. Another thriller between those two teams. And 3A, we go. Lamar, smack over, rising to Clinton. We have it all covered. This is Fearless Friday. Nobody does high school football bigger or better. At Arkansas State University, our students push the limits of learning. We collaborate with NASA in the clouds and discover new species below the sea. 
We grow healthier plants and plants for growing heart tissue. We preserve our history and teach the future. We work to ensure every Red Wolf flourishes, both in the wild and on campus, with faculty and staff dedicated to student success. Ready to push your limits? Go to astate.edu to join the pack. Your car simply doesn't stack up against a big truck on the road. Most cars only weigh about 4,000 pounds. A truck can easily weigh 80,000. That truck is probably taller than your car is long. And at highway speeds, that big truck, well, it needs nearly twice as much distance as a car does to come to a stop. So if you're in an accident with a big truck, your car simply won't win. But if you're hurt, you want us on your side, by your side. You probably don't spend a lot of time thinking about banking. You're probably more focused on living for today and planning for tomorrow. That's why Regions puts you first. We know there's more to you than your checking account. You're dreaming about a vacation home, or season tickets for your team, or finally taking those paddleboarding lessons. With our people, our tech, and our tools, we make your life easier because we get it. Some things are bigger than banking. Hi folks, Bart Sherwood with the Sherwood Tractor. We are so excited and humbled to be named Dealer of the Year by Rural Lifestyle Dealer Magazine. We are honored to receive this national recognition. We competed against all brands and dealers across the U.S. and Canada. So come to Sherwood Tractor today and see why we are the Rural Lifestyle Dealer of the Year, why we are the number one Mahindra dealer in Arkansas, and why Mahindra is the number one selling tractor in the world. When you deal with Sherwood Tractor, you're dealing with an award-winning, small-town, family-owned business. What's in your barn? Now, your Fearless Friday Northwest Arkansas MVP of the Week, powered by RGC Glass, Inc. The Fayetteville Purple Dogs advanced to the round of eight by beating Catholic last week. Darius Bowers had a huge night. The senior quarterback passed for 306 yards and five touchdowns. The scores went for 36, 4, 13, 38, and 53 yards. Darius Bowers is our Northwest Arkansas MVP. Well, let's check on Darius Bowers and those Purple Dogs. They were playing Bryant for the fourth time in the last two seasons. Ben Creighton was there and has more. Wes, earlier in the week when I talked to Hornets players, they told me that this is turning into a pretty great rivalry, and you can definitely see why. Coming into tonight's playoff game, the previous three meetings between Fayetteville and Bryant were all decided by just a single point. Now, tonight's playoff game didn't result in a single point game but it was still a heck of a ball game. Let's take a look at the highlights. If one thing's for sure, Bryant versus Fayetteville will always turn into a tremendous game. A spot in the 7A semifinals on the line as the Hornets battle the Bulldogs. After stopping the Bryant offense on fourth down, Fayetteville would answer with a field goal to take a 3-0 lead. And it was mostly a defensive battle throughout the first quarter. Let's go to the second. In the red zone, Ren Hefley connects with Hayden Schrader for the Hornet touchdown. First points of the night for Bryant. They take a 7-3 lead. And then more fireworks from the Hornet offense. This time we're going with the deep ball. Hefley airing it out this time to Josh Robinson. He's got it and it's a foot race and it's a race that Robinson is going to win. Touchdown Bryant. They take a 14 to 3 lead. But if there's one thing I've learned whenever these two teams meet, no lead is ever safe. Fayetteville needing to answer. They need a big play and Bo Stuckey is going to get that for them. The junior is going to streak and battle his way into the end zone to give Fayetteville their first trip into the blue turf tonight. That cuts it to a 14-10 Bryan lead, and that would be the score heading into halftime. All right, now we go to the second half. Fayetteville would take the lead 17-14, but Bryan answering back. And once again, just like every single week, it's Latavian Scott with a big carry, takes it all the way to the house, and Bryan retakes the lead going up 21-17. And now we got to go to late in the fourth quarter. Down 28 to 17. Connor Flanagan hauls in the TD pass for the Bulldogs. And that cuts it to a 28-23 game. So obviously Fayetteville has to go for two. And they put it in the hands of their dual threat. Darius Bowers on the keeper. He's able to break the plane. And that makes it a three point game. Fayetteville would then force Bryant to punt. The Bulldogs would drive down the field. They line up for the field goal to try to tie the game with about 20 seconds left. 
and it's no good. And the Hornets hang on to take down Fayetteville 28 to 25 and move on to the 7A semis. So West, to no one's surprise, this turned out to be another thrilling chapter of this rivalry between Fayetteville and Bryant. The Hornets moving on to the 7A semifinals. Reporting here in Saline County, Ben Graydon, Fearless Friday. Wow, another great game between Fayetteville and Bryant. Once again, the 7A semifinals, North Little Rock host Bentonville West, and Bryant will host Northside. Now we focus on 3A. Prescott and Clinton are two of the top-ranked teams in the classification tonight. 11-0 Clinton hosted 10-1 Prescott. Justin Roten was there and shows us how it went down. Yeah, that's right, Wes. Big matchup here in round two as Prescott comes to Clinton. Clinton undefeated 11-0. Prescott 10-1 on the season. So combined, they're 21-1 so far. You knew it was going to be a good matchup, and the first half did not disappoint. Let's take a look at those highlights. Round two of the playoffs. Prescott in town against Clinton in a physical matchup. Open and drive for Clinton, and they're wasting no time as they drive down the field, and quarterback Weston Amos sneaks it in for the score. Yellow Jacket strike first, up seven to nothing. Clinton kicking off here, and it's an onside kick, and the Yellow Jackets recover. But they would not be able to turn it into points, and Prescott finally gets their chance on offense. And on fourth and five, quarterback Ryan Johnson rolls out, and they get the first down and some as Cameron Cox hauls it in. Prescott then would punch it into the end zone as Ryan Johnson keeps it himself, finds the lane, and gets in. We're tied at seven. Clinton back on offense. The handoff to Caleb Bowman, and he fights his way in for the score. Yellow Jackets would add the extra point and take the lead, 14-7. to seven. Prescott on the kickoff now. Darian Thompson making some moves. It gets all the way into Yellow Jacket territory. And I don't know who that guy is, but he's loving it. And same song, different dance as quarterback Ryan Johnson takes it in himself again. It is in for the score to tie it back up at 14 apiece. Clinton now facing a third and 21, has a man wide open, and he drops it. Clinton would be forced to punt. And on third and six with 18 seconds left to go in the half, Prescott goes deep. It's a jump ball, and Cameron Cox comes down with it. He sheds his man, and he's into the end zone for the score. They add the extra point at the half. It's 21-14, to 14, Prescott leading. And in the second half, it was not as much of a back-and-forth game. Prescott comes out, shuts down Clinton's offense, and they take off on offense themselves. They pull away, take the victory here tonight, 45-27, to 27, ending Clinton's undefeated season, and they will move on to the next round of the playoffs. Wes, we'll send it back to you. All right, let's see who Prescott's going to play. It is McGee. They knock off Newport 42-21. Now the top of the bracket, Glenn Rose hosted Camden Harmony Grove. Harmony Grove up 21-14, 7.9 seconds left before half. Gannon Bearden completes the bomb to Damian Daniel, and he gets in for the touchdown. Wow, what a backbreaker. Fast forward to Camden Harmony Grove's first play of the third quarter. Sean Lucas breaks free, and he is gone. 70 yards, two plays, all of a sudden, and Glen Rose trails 34-14. Glen Rose came back when Beaver quarterback JT Towers runs the ball in, and Glen Rose falls to Camden Harmony Grove. Boonville all over Walnut Ridge, 41-13, so they get Camden Harmony Grove next week. Boonville looks really good. That will be a fun game. To the other side of the bracket, Danville played at Smackover. This game was moved to El Dorado because of poor field conditions in Smackover. Greg Turner up the middle for Smackover, splits the defense, 43-yard touchdown. Buckaroos looking for more. Rashard Boom passes it to K.J. King. He's breaking tackles. He's still in bounds, 33 yards. Later in the drive, Smackover's Greg Turner with another touchdown. It's 14 to nothing. Danville gets back in it. Short touchdown run from T.J. Lewis. Makes it 14 to 7, but smack over lays the smack down to Danville 49-35. Who do they play? Osceola downs Man Mansfield 53-24. So it's Osceola smack over next week. Now to the bottom of the bracket. Mayflower played at Ryzen. Mayflowers. Dalton Hughes hands the ball off to Keon Simmons, who Pushes his way into rising territory down to about the five few plays later. His brother, Deion Simmons, 
gets into the end zone, cuts the lead to eight. A rise is far from done. Future Razorback Malik Chavis barrels through multiple defenders, picks up the first down. Next to play, Jamarian Fry gets the toss and finds a big opening, breaks free, spinning, running into Mayflower territory. Malik Chavis gets the ball again. He dances in for a touchdown, rising all over Mayflower. Winner plays either Harding Academy or Lamar. Harding Academy driving to the Warrior 10. Then this 27-yard field goal we don't see. Lamar going deep. And it's caught. What a catch. Receiver making a play. Breaking tackles up the middle, spinning in for the score. Your final score here, Lamar, 32-13. Next up on Fearless Friday, we will unveil the play of the night, plus we finish up in 4A. We have a rematch of the 4A state title game, Arkadelphia and Warren. We'll see if Warren gets the revenge next on Fearless Friday. Think a Mercedes is out of reach? Think again. The Mercedes C300 offers room for five and a pioneering safety system that defines Mercedes-Benz. Priced from the 40s, get modern luxury with an unexpected price. Let Mercedes-Benz of Little Rock put you in the driver's seat of a C300 sedan today. What's keeping you from taking care of your hip or knee pain? For me, it was time away from my family. I was just worried about a painful recovery. Baptist Health's innovative robotic-assisted hip or knee replacement surgery is the newest answer, offering less pain, a shorter hospital stay, and a faster recovery. Call or visit our website today to schedule a consultation with a physician and see how Baptist Health is doing more than ever to keep Arkansas amazing. My name is Amy and I'm a Success Vision employee. Every day I get to help our customers pick out the perfect pair of glasses. But what's also cool is when our customers buy glasses from Success Vision, they enable us to give free eye care to those in need all around the world. They're not just sending money to some random organization, they're sending us. So thank you for being our customer. You're the one that makes this all possible. My name is Amy and I'm a Success Vision store manager. You pay for 39 in an hour for less. Come see us today, Success Vision Express. Warehouse Furniture in BB has added Warehouse Guns and Ammo, 40,000 square feet of furniture and firearms. His and her shopping under one roof. Ashley and Lazy Boy sofas, lowest prices in the state. Over 100 handguns to choose from. Ashley and Lazy Boy recliners starting at $299. Rifles, guns, and ammo, always low prices. A complete queen bedroom suit, including a queen mattress set, only $9.99. ARs and silencers. Warehouse furniture. Warehouse guns and ammo. Exit 28 and BB. Thinking about an SUV? The Mercedes GLE leads the way in every arena of driving. The family-friendly GLE is a top safety pick with easily adaptable cabin and cargo space that provides comfort for the whole family. Let Mercedes-Benz of Little Rock put your family in a GLE SUV today. Fearless Friday Play of the Week, powered by UA Little Rock. Back to Bryant, Fayetteville Bryant, Will Hefley throwing deep to Josh Robinson. He hauls it in and outraces the defender 60 yards, and Bryant takes the lead. They go on to win and advance to the semifinals. Football fans are still talking about last year's 4A state championship game between Arkadelphia and Warren. Some thought there could be a rematch in the finals this year. Instead, we get the rematch in the second round. Tyler Thomason was at Jim Turley Field and brings us the action. The 4A state title game last year between Arkadelphia and Warren ended in a bit of controversy. Well, tonight, no controversy here as Warren hosts the Badgers from Arkadelphia, and this one got ugly early. Warren High School football, they have a history of success. Tonight, it's a rematch of last year's 4A title game against the Arkadelphia Badgers. The Badgers get off to a fast start. Quarterback Cannon Turner keeps it, and he's going to score. Touchdown, Arkadelphia. A rough start for the home team here. Later, it's Turner for Arkadelphia. He lofts it over the middle to Braden Thomas. Thomas hits the spin cycle. Big game for the Badgers deep into Warren territory. They would settle for a field goal. Arkadelphia showing out again. This time it's Thomas on the end around. He bounces off tacklers, then tight ropes the sideline. Touchdown, Arkadelphia. That one went for 24 yards. More Badgers get in on the party. It's Zion Hatley. He zigzags his way in the end zone and says, give me six. Touchdown, Arkadelphia. 
Warren trying to get something going. Jay Malachi Kennard sees an opening, then he loses the football. Arkadelphia pounces on the fumble. It's just been that kind of night for the Lumberjacks. Very next play, it's Hatley again, slicing and dicing his way upfield. Then it's off to the races. Touchdown, Arkadelphia. By the time we reached halftime, Arkadelphia would lead Warren 41 to nothing. And Arkadelphia would not let off the gas in this one. They win 41 to 14 in advance to the next round where they'll be taking on Stuttgart in the 4A state playoffs. In Warren, Tyler Thomason for Fearless Friday. Wes, we'll send it back to you. Not surprised Arkadelphia won, just surprised with the score. So who do they play next? It's Stuttgart. They beat Dardanelle 21-13. Coach Price defeats his old team. Stuttgart advances. Bottom of the bracket has Mina and Shiloh Christian. First Shiloh possession, and they're going to get fancy Eli Reese, Jarrett Russ to Jaden Henry. He's looking to throw the ball all the way down the 10 yard line. Blake Thompson catches it. 45 yards. A few plays later from yard out, Russ breaks the tackle, gets into the end zone. After a Mina punt, Russ will score again, this time from a lot further out. The screen pass. It looks like it's going to be about a 15-yard catch, but he goes all the way across the field for the touchdown. Wow, what a nice play. Now watch this. The mean upon is high and short. Mark Wilson will make a grab, but he can't control it. Henry scoops it up, gets a great block from Micah Button, and he scores from 30 yards out. The conversion is good. Shiloh leads, and they go on to win big, 59-7. So who do they play? Fox Eider Nashville. Scrappers hosting the Miners. Kickoff from Nashville's Devontae Witherspoon sets them up in good position. Later on, Levester Gillard scores on the catch. And Nashville's up 7-0. Fox Eider comes back. Dawson dabs with the touchdown. Two-point conversion makes it 8-7. Fox Eider leading. But the Scrappers have a big second half. They win the rematch 41 to 18. Let's go to the other side of the bracket. Joe T. Robinson hosting Hamburg. Robinson leads 7 to nothing and adds to the score. Tyler Jones in the end zone 14 0. After two Hamburg fumbles, by the way. Joe T. Robinson scores it quickly. Jones again. It's 21 to nothing. Big guys plowing the way. Later in the first, it's Jaden Lee showing off his running skills. He takes it all the way in for the score. It's all Senators in this one. Robinson wins 49-29. They get the winner of Ozark and Lone Oak. Well, it's Ozark. They shut out Lone Oak 34 to nothing. We finish up with Heber Springs at Rivercrest. Heber Springs begins from the one on the drive. Adam Martin passes to Rocky Finney. Long touchdown. Panthers up 7 to nothing. Rivercrest takes no time to answer. First play from scrimmage, Demillion Brown hands the ball off to Latham. He hits a sideline, turns the corner, and he's gone. It's tied 7-7. Seven to seven. Next, Colts possession. Brown hands the ball off to Keyshawn Scott, who takes, takes it to over the right side. He picks up the first down for Rivercrest. A few plays later, Brown hands off to Latham, who takes it in from nine yards out. Colts up 14-7. Heber Springs, Adam Martin's pass is tipped and intercepted by Riley Jones. Pick six. They're up 21-7. Rivercrest pulls it out 50-36. They get either Dumas or Helena West Helena. It is... Drum roll. Dumas. Helena West Helena's been hot. They beat Warren. They beat Pea Ridge. But tonight they come up short. Dumas advances we're just about done but head over to fearlessfriday.com to see all the scores you can talk about next week's games the matchups plus we'll have all these highlights online shortly unfortunately tonight is the last week of fearless friday for this season it's been a great season i want to thank all the photographers reporters producers our crew here i couldn't do it without them and we couldn't do it without you Thank you for watching all season. Have a great weekend, everybody. Enjoy the football games and enjoy the rest of the season. Good night, everybody. Southern Arkansas University feels like home.
SAU feels like home because I've made lifelong friendships with people who care about me. SAU feels like home because I'm part of so many traditions that create meaning for my college experience. SAU feels like home because it's the perfect size to find people you share common interests with. Come visit SAU and see why so many students are saying that Southern Arkansas University feels like home. Sold it, sold it, sold it. Attention, commercial developers and investors. Lender ordered. Absolute auction. Wednesday, November 28th. Two choice. Lowe's out parcels in Bryan, Arkansas. Seller regardless of price. Go to WilsonAuctioneers.com. Uh, sold it, sold it, sold it. Have you ever wanted a brand new camper? Hi, I'm Missy Gibson for John Gibson Auto Sales, and we are an official Gulfstream camper dealer. Whether you have good credit, bad credit, or no credit, we will finance your brand new Gulfstream camper. We also have a large selection of used campers, cars, trucks, SUVs, motorcycles, ATVs, performance trailers, and boats. Check us out online at johngibsonautosales.com and we will have your purchase ready when you get here. It's our healthy living sale at Family Leisure. Spas are relaxing, but it doesn't end there. Swim spas provide the addition of aerobic workouts. Saunas are great for weight loss and a whole lot more. Light therapy beds for vitamin D. Massage chairs for aching muscles and more. Healthy living sale going on now at Family Leisure. been Fearless Friday High School Football Coverage on Fox 16. Powered by FearlessFriday.com and sponsored by Baptist Health.